Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Fortnite working on a jailbroken iPhone. So this is probably the question I get asked more than anything else and unfortunately since Kern Bypass basically stopped working for Fortnite, which was, I believe, it came around about the same time as the new season was actually released. Unfortunately, the only way that I've actually been able to find how to get this working is a way that most people aren't gonna like. So I will premise this, this video by saying that most people won't like this method, but unfortunately, this is the only method that I've been able to find that actually does work. And that is quite simply to actually restart your phone. And then once it's restarted, um, you can actually play Fortnite without obviously without the jailbreak in in place so essentially what's happening is when you reboot your phone um, certain devices certain applications will still detect a jailbreak but luckily um, Fortnite isn't one of them so basically if you actually reboot your phone into a non jailbroken state um, then you can actually use Fortnite uh, without any tweaks or anything obviously because Cydia is disabled uh, your jailbreak is disabled essentially so because of that what I've done is I'm gonna run this little demo to start with just to prove that it doesn't work on this particular device so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed it up once it eventually actually boots into the, the actual gameplay um, as well in fact I've already sped this part up but essentially after this little bit where it actually finally gets into the, the game, um, it, it's going to boot me out straight away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the phone. So obviously there's no way of me screen recording that. I was tempted to just do this whole video shot through another phone. But I figured, look, it'll, it'll be easier for me to just record it this way and then do a voiceover afterwards. But essentially, as you'll be able to see here, as soon as I've jumped off the bus, it's booted me out straight away. And as you can see, um, it basically kicked me out of the game. So now, what I've done is, at this point, I've actually restarted the, the phone. And I've gone into the settings just to show you I'm on 13.5. As you can see from the layout of my home screen, um, it's not in a jailbroken state. And obviously, because I've restarted the phone, I've also not run current bypasses uh, tweak in order to get me back into the, the phone at this stage. So this whole section now, I'll also speed up. And what will happen is you'll basically just see me go into the game and fail miserably in terms of the actual gameplay, because as I said many times previously, I don't actually play this game. But you can see me launching from the bus. You can see me um, land on the ground and also run around and interact. And it doesn't kick me out. It doesn't boot me out at any point. Um, I die and basically it allows me to go through and view the other members of the team, carry on watching their gameplay, essentially. Normally, if you're going to get booted out, it's going to be before you've done anything else. So I've had people say to me that, oh, you need to play for five minutes or whatever. Look. I'm not good enough to actually play for that long, but hopefully this video will actually prove to everybody that this method does actually work. And if you follow this particular method, you can actually get it working for yourself as well. Now, obviously people are gonna be wondering what happens with regards to jailbreak, you literally just rerun it. So obviously if you wanna, if you're really desperate to play Fortnite and keep your jailbreak uh, broken iPhone at the same time, then what you can do is do this method, restart your phone whenever you wanna play the game, play the game to your heart's content, and then it doesn't take long, it'll literally take you like a minute to rerun uncover uh, jailbreak and then it'll reboot you back into a jailbroken state obviously at that point you'll no longer be able to play whilst you're in a jailbroken state but as i say it doesn't actually take long now the one premise i will add to it is for anybody using the uncover jailbreak what you want to do is you want to make sure that you do boot back into a jailbroken state and rerun uh reprovision um at least every every few days because obviously even though it allows you six best part of seven seven days because it's six hours twenty uh, six days twenty three hours, but what you want to do is you want to boot back in and obviously just rerun reprovision to make sure that your your jailbroken apps are actually signed in the background. So reprovision works perfectly for me, and what I've been able to do is with that is obviously run it and make sure that the uncover app is signed for on the phone, so I never have to actually load up Alt Store on a PC or a laptop or a Mac in order to get it re-signed. So that's the one thing that I would recommend everybody do if they want to follow this method. But other than that, basically it's 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 working as as you would want it to. Now the one thing I did notice in the when I actually tried it both in a jailbroken and non-jailbroken state is the optimizing stage. So when you actually go into the game, the optimizing doesn't seem to happen when you're actually running using Kern Bypass. 
So I'm not sure if that's what's actually causing the problem. So for any actual tweak developers out there, for some reason, the app seems to skip the optimizing stage and potentially that could be what's actually causing it to actually detect the jailbreak because it basically unites them all into the same sort of VPN, slow connection, that kind of error. So because of that, I'm, I'm thinking possibly it could be something to do with that. The optimizing stage that you would have seen at the start of me going in back into the game the second time, that doesn't actually happen when it's actually jailbroken. So possibly that could be something to do with, with what's causing the problem. But essentially, for anybody out there that is just desperate to, to play the game and also keep the jailbreak at the same time, this is a method for all of you guys that you can implement and hopefully get it working for you. Um, obviously, if you have any issues with this, post, post it down in the comments below. As and when I do find an actual tweak or process to, uh, to, to get it working whilst you're actually still in a jailbroken state, obviously I'll post a updated video for that. So all I can say is subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified as soon as I upload that video as and when that does become available. 